So I hear you talking. I hear you. How did he do it? How did he make, create a multi-million dollar clubs all across New Jersey? Well, I'm going to show you how I did it. <laughs> and in this video right here, uh, this is a YouTube strategy, exactly uh, what I did uh, to sell out multiple uh, concerts, uh, to have over $150,000 Saturday consistent night uh, to create day and night parties that averaged over $200,000 in a party. Uh, obviously, as you can see here, we had some of the biggest talents throughout the tri-state coming through. Um, but again, you can have a DJ Camillo at your party and you can still flop. You know, um, it's rare, true indeed, but it can happen. Uh, you know, now Camillo is a cheat code or was a cheat code, at least when I was in the game. Uh, and whenever you bought him out, you know, it's pretty much guaranteed a good time. But when you're able to take an influencer that has such a high impact like that and then put them all over, uh, you know, social media for, for your brand, well, it takes your brand to a whole other level. So as you can see, these numbers right here, this was a screenshot taken back when I was uh, still working for uh, Barcode. Um, but as you can see, 14,000, 11,000, 55,000, 24,000, 16,000, um, you know, we were consistently getting thousands of views uh, on our videos because one, we were advertising them uh, and two, we had some really fly ass videos. Uh, but not only that, the third one is the targeting. You know, on YouTube, you can target uh, the types of things that people watch. So if they watch different YouTube channels, and that's in your niche, you can target that. So like, let's say, for example, you want to do a soccer game, right? Uh, that's one of the things we did a lot or, or you know, in, in, in Latin America, they call it football. Um, so, if, you know, you're trying to do a football game or something like that. Um, you can target people that watch certain leagues or watch certain teams. Um, some of these YouTube channels have millions of followers. And so what you do is you, uh, you you focus that down by zip codes. You know, so in your YouTube campaign, these are different settings that you want to make sure you're checking off uh, to make sure you're reaching the right people. But, you know, you can even on YouTube, you can even uh, put a link in there of a YouTube video that you want to run ads on. So, you know, this is why YouTube is better than television. You know, so someone's talking about advertising on TV then, you know, let's kick them out. Uh, so here again, you know, uh, 18,000, 32,000, 37,000, 53,000 crazy views, you know. Um, and when, when I was doing this, leading the team, uh, you know, we were everywhere. We, again, we had multiple events, as you can see with some of these. There's Mondays, there's Fridays, there's Sundays. So, again, you can just imagine how much... Uh, uh, we were all over the place and, and how we were being seen in ways that other clubs and venues at this time, they they, they had never heard of. Um, so, again, I just want to encourage you as a bar owner, club owner, be running YouTube. YouTube is the new television. This is where your audience is at. I don't even care you know, if it's an older audience. Uh, my mother has YouTube television, you know, where you could watch live TV on YouTube. Uh, and she's in her 60s, you know, thank, thankful she's healthy. Um, but, you know, again, this is an opportunity for you guys to be able to step your game up. A lot of bars and lounges aren't doing this. And depending on where you're located at, uh, they're definitely not doing it. You know, like out of some of these places like uh, Wisconsin and, you know, Missouri and stuff like that. Um, South Carolina, different places where, you know, again, they're probably not doing things like the strategies I'm, I'm saying to you. Even bigger cities aren't really doing it. Uh, so, yeah, if you need any type of consulting, please uh, click the link in my description. Um, it'll take you to my website. It'll take you to everything I got going on. And I uh, definitely look forward to hearing from you. And as always, as always, thank you.